hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys let me show you the error first if I open my camera the camera is not working and it is throwing the error we can't find your camera the error code you can see here 4244 no camera are attached so if you are getting any kind of error like your camera is not working or you are getting the same error this video is for you I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue so let's start without wasting our time so first of all you need to make sure that the camera setting is enabled from the setting so just need to click on this start menu then click on settings once you click on setting you need to look for the camera which will be in a privacy and the security option click on that and you need to scroll down and look for camera here you can see okay but in my case the camera access is already on here so make sure it is on if it is off like this just turn it on and the particularly you need to look for the software or the app and you need to make sure that the all are enabled here like this all should be on here and make sure all on once this is done check if your issue is solved or not but in my case this is already enabled so this is not going to work so if your issue is solved well, well and good but in the most cases your camera is already enabled so it's time to reset or the reset its setting or app open the camera go to search bar and then you need to look for this option which says app settings click on that once you click on that you need to scroll down and make sure it is on from here as well you need to scroll down and click on this option repair ok now it is repair now let me reset also it ok now the camera is reset now so let me try here now ok so camera is still not working you can see the error message so let me go to the troubleshooter which comes by default in windows 10 and 11 version so go to troubleshoot setting click on that and click on other troubleshooter and you need to look for the camera just click on run now just select the ups option here and the automation capabilities it's checking now now it is also trying to reset the camera you can see the message here but this is very powerful it will automatically resolve the issue ok so camera setting is now reset let me close this let me close this option as well and let me try here if the camera is working or not ok still getting the same issue so let me go to the device manager go to search bar type there device manager click on that and now you can see in the device manager there is no camera camera should be here in order to work properly so sometime it is hidden go to view and click on show hidden devices now still there is no camera so let me go to the action click on your PC name and then click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes ok now you can see camera is back click on that and right click on the camera update it search automatically connect with the network first and click on check for update also search for updated driver on the windows so let me close this option if your camera was working fine after the update your camera is not working you need to right click and you can go to properties driver and then simply roll back the camera after that your issue should fix ok so if you have still issue you can check for update like click on this option start menu then click on setting click on windows update 
and I observed that if your window is not updated many issues comes in a Windows 11 especially so make sure you are choosing this option check for update and your issue should fix so let me try now so let me disable and enable the camera from the device manager you can also do same things right click enable and let me try now if the camera is working or not it should work now ok now you can see the camera is working fine so my issue has been resolved now if your issue is still not resolved and there is no driver of the camera in your device manager you just need to go to the this option browser and we need to manually install the driver for your camera so you need to type the manufacturer website name like I'm using here the Dell laptop you need to type a Dell driver download if you are using the HP laptop you need to type a HP driver download you just need to only eject type that ok then go to Dell then click on driver and downloads and you need to put your SN number here SN means serial number so let me open the command prompt run as administrator and now you can see it has already detected the my device so let me also you can see the command on the screen ok this is my serial number let me just select this enter it and you can go to this option and then search it will search the exact driver for your windows no thanks you need to do the same process you can also check for update here like it will automatically install the driver but I'm choosing a manual download and let me it will automatically detect the driver here ok so let me scroll it down now you can see critical critical but we are going to look for the graphic drivers you can see here Intel SD Pro Graphics Driver video just click on download and it's going to download now make sure you are choosing this option Intel SD Graphics now the driver download is done let me go to the file and folders and let me right click and cut it from here and paste into the desktop you can see this is a graphic drivers double click on it to run it will take some time to load the driver you can see it is loaded now click on next automatically run when set enable windows arrow desktop theme supported next yes next now the graphic driver is going to download here so in case after reinstalling the graphic driver your issue is still persist so you need to make sure that the hardware is detected in the BIOS as well as in the device manager and you can go to the support team or you can go to the check your hardware should be detecting if webcam is not faulty it should fix your issue these steps should fix your issue if you don't have the hardware issue ok now you can see the it is flickering now it means that it is installing the right driver ok so once the driver is installed next ok yes I want to restart my computer just click on finish and your system is going to restart and thereafter your issue will be fixed ok so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue so I have restarted my system and hopefully your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech